Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 376. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the VLOOKUP and the COUNTIF, right? Uh, my name is Ajay and you're watching this channel where you can have, you, where you will find 375 videos on Excel, Excel VBA, MS Access and Access VBA, covering all the basic parts, covering all the intermediate parts and of course, the wonderful channel for those who are extremely, extremely looking for the advanced level stuff right so i warmly welcome all of you if you're watching the channel for the first time what you need to do is uh, go to the channel and click on the playlist uh, which is here this these are all the different different playlists you can see here we have the excel vba collection loops we have the excel VBA connecting outlook from excel so we have the excel rs vba file handling that's in the pivot every actually the subject in the excel access excel vba ms uh, access vba whatever we have we are trying to cover it day by day so I am going to talk about uh, one of the question I received from uh, Harisha and on this question in fact I had uploaded a video also uh, which is uh, you know I'll show you first of all the exercise this is what uh, we have to do it now if you would have watched the previous video which is a video number 375 uh, you would understand that how we actually have you know worked on worked on the RS there but this time we are not going to work on the RS we are simply going to use the we look up and the count if so the requirement what we need is guys this is the answer which we want to develop here right now i'm i've just written here the answer right so for those who didn't actually watch the previous video let me just uh, take one minute to explain the exactly we are you know trying to do here so here we have the two headers header one and header two and in the header one you have a repetition of one one two 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 now it can be in any order for example the one can come here as well and the list can be long you can have one two three four five six and whatever right so i have already written here one two three and this is what we need so whatever element whatever the header two we have the value in the header two corresponding to this element uh, this value it, it should come here in this way a b j for example so right now S should also be added because you know that the S is also part of one and similarly for the two and similarly for the three. So how to do that, right? Now the first uh, thing which you have to do is because you never know how many numbers you have here. Maybe the list can have thousand items and this is something I didn't actually explain in the previous video. So what you can do is guys, you can simply uh, copy this and you can paste it somewhere, maybe the same sheet or maybe in the, you know, another sheet. And what you can do is you can simply remove the duplicate keep your selection on and go to the data and just uh, uh, click here the remove duplicate and then column b is already selected which makes sense my data has headers no my data doesn't have any header because i'm just using the values directly press ok six duplicate values found and removed right now once you have these all the values coming here just copy this and you know you just need to use the transpose and that's it you're done with that you will have all the values coming here which is one three so it's not really a task right you can immediately write all these numbers first you remove the duplicates and then that's it now what is the next thing i want to do now you see that uh, when i say vlookup obviously the vlookup has a restriction that it cannot pick up the duplicate values right now i have actually talked about the vlookup in my uh, you know the playlist which is uh, which if you go to the you know uh, in, in this playlist you will find here a vlookup playlist just search on that or maybe you can scroll it down I'll leave it to you both the options are fine so when you want to search it this is what you will see excel vlookup and match so 15 videos guys we have already got on this channel right for the vlookup now these all videos are super fun Trust me on that. Right? If you're very good in Excel, definitely you will love that. And if you, if you, if you think that you know the Excel and you, after watching these videos, you think that, you know, uh, there's something new you found and there's some problems you also felt that, you know, in understanding, uh, so then that means that you are really, really, you need to practice because you are not then, you know, uh, really know advanced Excel very well, right? However, uh, just in case if you are just a beginner and you don't have any idea about the VLOOKUP, then what you can do is uh, you can uh, find out here this video complete VLOOKUP with match discussion. So this is the video which you can, which you should, uh, you know, watch before watching this, just in case if you don't have any idea about the VLOOKUP, and then you can watch all these, you know, different different videos here. You can see here every video actually has a uh, different um, uh, the formula, the technique, or in some videos, I uh, you would see me trying to answer 
uh, the subscribers questions right like this is what we are doing this video as well now the point is I cannot write the VLOOKUP here because if I write the VLOOKUP here and I say that I want to look up this value and I want to look up this value in this table on my second column I will be able to find the first value but then what about the next value because the next value if you drag it down after freezing this E1 to F12 you will not be able to get the A uh, next item which is B because we look up always captures the first time right because when you start your search from here obviously we look up finds the one why it would go further because what you have asked the VLOOKUP to find it out if it is able to find it out then what is the need to go to the next one right so that is why guys we actually will have to create the separate uh, you know we'll have to create the uniqueness we will have to uh, pretend that you know this is a different one this is a different one this is a different one so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to count all these numbers here using the count function right I just write the count function and I select this table and what I'm going to count is the, I, I want to count the value which is available in the E2 so what will happen this is a count function by the way if you do not know the count function please go and check Excel uh, uh, there's a playlist called Excel count and some family and when you click on that you will see there 10 to 12 videos I think and there there, there are videos the basics on the count if function and you can you know watch that video so count if is simply to count what we want to count generally we always freeze the table but this time if you freeze the table and if you just drag it down what will happen you will get the you know the same value for all the ones and same value for the two for example you know in this data the two is coming two times so that's why you're able to see here two but that's something we do not actually want right what we want is we want to create the unique number so what you will do instead of freezing this e2 part you will keep it open so that when you drag it down e2 will change to e3 and then e4 and then e5 so what will happen by doing that table range will keep on changing and then you will have a different numbers coming out here you can see here I have got four three two then similarly for the two this is two and one and finally then uh, what you will do you will actually combine this number so this time I'm going to combine this number with the hyphen and with this header so this will give you the four slash one and then four slash three and uh, sorry three slash one and two slash one and you know that's how now these all numbers are unique if I talk about particularly one guys we have this number four hash one three hash one two hash one and then you know uh, for the two also we have the different number so by prefixing this you know four hyphen uh, uh, sorry I, I, it, it's not hash actually it's a hyphen three hyphen and two hyphen uh, by prefixing it with you know this one basically you are making them unique and on the unique purpose the VLOOKUP works very fine now what we will do actually here is now I'm simply going to write here uh, one two and three and four I mean I can do that there's no problem as such because this one and, and three we are also going to concatenate so what I will do is uh, I will write the function called VLOOKUP now you know that what you need to find so what I want to find is that I want to find this and then I'm going to join it with the hyphen hyphen and then I'm going to join it with this one what will happen it will generate the one uh, one hyphen one okay so once you have the one hyphen one we look up will be able to find it out in this table so what you will do you will go in this in this table you select the table and then you go in the column number three, which is one two three and then check match I just write the zero and I press enter and you can see here I got the s this one and one is coming here right I don't have to write this one two three four here is what I can do is I can also write the directly a function here which is instead of the i3 why can't I write that row of a1 okay this row of a1 will also return 1 and naturally when you will drag it down a1 will change to a2 and then you have a row a2 which means that you will have the 2 so 2 hyphen 1 you know you will have your new lookup value or you can also do one thing if you don't want to use the row of a1 then you can simply put like this so you know that if I just press enter what will happen you will get to see the row number of the current cell now the current cell row number is 3 and then uh, so 3 we will have to make it 1 so I will subtract 2 from it and that's it 
so now if i just press enter you get to again see the same answer so basically this row function is doing what if i just write here row function this returns three and i if i, I have to subtract two from it because i want to make it one right then naturally when you will drag it down what will happen this will be four and then four minus two will be so that is what we are actually trying to do here so now what is required is you simply need to just freeze a couple of things here for example you need to freeze the complete table d2 to f10 and then in the case of the j2 which is this value we will freeze the uh your j open because you move it left to right will have j change changes to k and automatically the two will be captured and then you know will be uh, you will have the combination of uh, 2 hash 1 2 hash 2 2 whatever it is right so i think this is done and i can simply go ahead and i can drag this function look at this we got the answer perfect and if i'm going to move it left to right this is what we are getting and i think this is perfect right so if i just put the if error here if error for any error display the space i press ctrl shift enter and again if i drag it now this is the answer right so that means if i just change anything here you see that your answer will also change so obviously you will have to drag this further this is how right if i and i can drag this function here also it will give the maximum range and if i just change anything here you can see here that the answer is coming perfect right and then obviously we can hide this column that the user should not be able to see anything what is happening so i can quickly cross check so we have b uh, b j b a is it coming correct so we have here uh, B is also here, A is also here, and then we have J also, and then A also. So if I just change this to anything else, I think the number will also change. So this is how, uh, this is your function. Uh, let me just remove this equals to sign from here, and so that you can see here, let me just uh, double click here. That's the function we have prepared, right? So that's it for now, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.